You may think that ASL is a universal sign language, but it is not. Sign language changes from country to country, just like spoken language. American Sign Language, ASL, is mostly used in North America. ASL is not universal. There are some gestures that are used and understood worldwide. Even hearing people can recognize this drink gesture. Baby, kiss, and hello are all universally understood gestures. When deaf people travel and meet someone who uses a foreign sign language, the two deaf people won't share a common language base. Even though the two languages are very different, they will be able to communicate through basic gestures. There are shared universalities, facial expressions, and gestures. It's a quick learning process to explain and grasp foreign signs in the other language. A reciprocal lesson occurs so that they learn the ASL for that sign. There is a language exchange as translations are naturally discovered. It's a quicker process compared with hearing people trying to learn a foreign language. They struggle with language books and foreign language tapes that don't always work. Deaf people with different languages have an easier time than hearing people. The universality of gestures give deaf people a huge advantage at international events or while traveling. Every country has its own sign language. The USA has American Sign Language. In Quebec, Canada, they use Quebec Sign Language, LSQ, Langue des Signes Québécoises. Europe uses British Sign Language, French Sign Language, and Italian Sign Language. There's Russian Sign Language, Mexican Sign Language, etc. Here are some examples of different translations for thank you. American Sign Language for thank you. In Japanese, it's arigato, arigato, thank you, arigato. In Mexican Sign Language, it's gracias, thank you, gracias. Thank you in Russian Sign Language is spasiba. In French Sign Language, it is the same sign as an ASL for thank you. These foreign translations are just a few examples of the language difference. Our sign language is developed internationally in each region. Some signs are visual representations of actual things. But the ASL sign for a simple thing looks like gibberish to a foreign signer. For example, here in America, we mostly have flush toilets. But in London, the water tank is above the toilet and you pull a cord to flush. So this is the flush motion in the UK since you pull a chain. So this is the British gesture to flush a toilet, which looks strange to an American. It can cause confusion until you see a toilet with a pull chain. Then it makes sense. It's the same concept that our sign for flush won't make sense in other countries. The gesture becomes understandable once they see a picture of a flush toilet. Sign language and gestures change from country to country.